morning Scorpio welcome today I'm gonna to do uh, your weekly reading this is going to be August 10th through the 16th please remember it is a general reading everything you need to know is in the description box if you'd like a personal reading uh, my video playlist link and uh, the last thing that I have is I am doing a giveaway at the end of every month I'm giving away two personal readings to enter you just need to subscribe like and comment um, I will do a winner's video the first week of every month. Uh, so be sure to turn on your notifications so you can be notified uh, when that video comes up and also for my upcoming videos. So good luck, Scorpio, and let's get started with your reading. All right, so we're going to pull here one card from the Angel Answer deck. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What message here do you have for Scorpio, August 10th through the 16th? Let's get one card, please. There it is. All right. And then we're going to pull another card here from the Archangel Michael uh, Tarot deck. Let's see what message the Archangels have for you as well. Thank you, angels, for your, for your guidance. What message do you have here for Scorpio? All right. So let's get started. Your first card you have here is Ace of Michael. A wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. Okay, so this goes right along with your angel answer card. Um, this is about you gaining clarity, all right? Uh, this can also be, you know, kind of like you have an epiphany as well, but there may be some situation this week that you're going to need some clarity. Um, this weight card is telling you to take your time with it, all right? Don't make any sudden, um, you know, any sudden decisions okay because your angels are saying you may need to get more information or you need to be clear about the situation um, and do what feels good in your heart here all right so something um, is coming to light this week being revealed I also see this card um, as a, you know a fresh start all right so you may have some new idea about something or a fresh start um, something may try to um, as it says hinder your progress or distract you so this is about you know uh, keeping yourself on track and don't let um, other people or situations distract your progress here all right okay scorpio now remember this is a weekly reading uh timing is uh fluid all right and um, anything goes with the weeklies okay so this can be about love career finances situations with family friends etc so take it how it all resonates with you all right let's get started here thank you angels and spirit for your guidance i pray that this reading for scorpio is for the highest good and purest intentions I pray that you give Scorpio the accurate messages and details they need to know for their journey. I pray that this gives them clarity and healing if needed. I thank you for your love, your wisdom, and your guidance, and may there always be love and light here. Amen. All right, so let's get here three cards for Scorpio, August 10th through the 16th. Okay, so we have the World card. We have Page of Wands, could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. We have the Ace of Pentacles, beautiful. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy there. Bon oh, beautiful. We have the Magician. All right, Scorpio. So I feel like you're on your way to something new, something exciting. You may have some new um, project or endeavor um that you're pursuing can be also new love here but we have here the world card all right so i almost feel here like this is a new fresh start for you i feel like you may have closed out a cycle um something in the past here that wasn't serving you you decided to start fresh or start something new and um you know this is you know closing out old cycles and starting um 
new chapters in your life here okay now there whatever this is um, there may need to be some more clarity some more information you need before you can continue on now whether this is a relationship or whether this has to do with a new business a, a new passion um, a new job um, there's something here that you might need a little bit of patience and clarity all right page of wands again this tells me this is something new this is something exciting this is something i feel here you're either passionate about or you're going to be passionate about so beautiful energy there and then look here we have the ace of pentacles so this tells me there is some beautiful offer here okay it's going to be an offer i feel here that you uh, probably won't be able to turn down look at that big pentacle so it can be a new job offer um, it can be a new business that you're starting that's going to pay off in the future very uh, handsomely. Um, I don't know where that word came from, <laughs> but uh, definitely some security, some stability here, something solid here. So whatever this is for you, it, it is going to be something that is going to pay off in the future, very secure, very stable. You're going to feel on top of the world here, all right? For some of you, you know, there can be some, um, you know, long distance travel associated with this situation as well. Uh, magician, bottom of the deck here. All right. So I definitely feel here you have all the tools and resources you need uh, for whatever this new idea is. Um, and you're manifesting what you need as well. So beautiful, beautiful energy there, Scorpio. So let's keep going. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Uh, what messages do you have for Scorpio, August 10th through the 16th? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. All right, we have the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Beautiful, six of wands, okay. Uh, fire energy again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now remember, they, uh, if you're dealing with a specific person, it, they can be any uh, sign or these can be their signs that are in their chart. Uh, but if the signs come up for you, um, then all the better. You know, it's gonna resonate with you more, but just know they can be any sign. All right, let's get one more card here for Scorpio, August 10th through the 16th. All right, Nine of Wands, a lot of passionate energy here, okay? A lot of passion here. Okay, oh, beautiful, <laughs> look at this. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Cups. You're manifesting this beautiful, beautiful, happy outcome here, all right? Whatever this is for you, you are going to feel emotionally good. You're going to feel emotionally good this week. Okay, a lot of happiness. This can be happiness within family. This can be happiness in love or just can be happiness um, in feeling good about this new passion or this endeavor or this new business, whatever it is for you. Okay, so we have the Hierophant here with the World card. Okay, as I said, you could be dealing with a Taurus here. Um, I feel here this is an indication that you're very, very connected to spirit right now is what I'm getting here. I feel here, it's almost like um, you've closed out a cycle here and now you are just in alignment with everything, all right, is what I'm getting. Um, for others, this can be to um, starting off something that you're going to be very, very committed to, all right? Um, can even be a, a situation that is potentially going to be a long-term committed relationship, but there is some commit commitment here. There's also spirituality here. Um, but look at that, this person, you know, I always see this card, um, as somebody who, you know, just, won, just won the Olympics here. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful energy here. All right. So <clears throat> excuse me, with the page of wands and the six of wands, okay, this tells me whatever this new endeavor is, whatever this uh, new situation is that you are pursuing, could be an idea, could be a, a new business, could be a new career, could be a new job, uh, a new love. I see victory here with the six of wands. And there are going to be people around you that are going to support you through this. They're going to cheer you on. Um, <clears throat> some of you, you know, 
<coughs> excuse me, I always see this card too as a frontline worker. Some of you could be a frontline worker right now, starting a new job. Um, but people are going to recognize you um, and they're going to see how well you are doing. And I feel here too, you're going to be an inspiration to other people as well. So this is just a beautiful reading so far for you, Scorpio. All right. So Ace of Pentacles and Knight of Wands. Okay. As I said, there is some new um, offer um, or something here that is going to pay off for you financially, long-term, or can be uh, long-term stability here, all right? But I feel here with the Knight of Wands, this is something you're gonna go after, you're very passionate about it. It's gonna come in pretty quickly is what I'm getting as well, all right? I'm not getting like player energy here or inconsistency. I feel here this is just about um, you being very passionate and going after what you want in this situation. All right, so let's pull um, some cards here from the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. All right, thank you angels and spirit for your guidance. What? messages do you have for Scorpio? Let's get some more clarity for this reading for Scorpio, August 10th through the 16th, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. All right, so we have Firm Foundation, beautiful. Second confirmation there. Wow, Rejoice and Celebration. And positive movement forward, beautiful. And look at bottom of the deck here, we have truth, all right? I feel here this is about you living your best life here, living, um, being the most authentic person that you can here, going after your dreams, going after your passions here. And this is gonna bring you balance here and look and also this 10 of cups energy happiness here. So first card you have is firm foundation. So this is the st stability I was talking about, all right? I also see this card as you have the backbone and you have what it takes to go after your success here. This is just beautiful, Scorpio. And then you have here rejoice and celebration, all right? This is again, you know, you're gonna have victory in the situation and I feel here this is definitely something to celebrate. Now this can also be union here, all right? This can be also up, upcoming, uh, you know, parties. I know people aren't doing a lot of parties right now, but something um, that you may be celebrating here <clears throat> can be friends coming together. We have here positive movement forward. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. It's moving forward towards something secure, something stable. Like I said, I feel something here that's coming in very quickly here. So beautiful, beautiful energy here, Scorpio. All right, so we're going to pull one last message here from uh, Archangel Michael. See what uh, message Archangel Michael has for you. All right, thank you angels and spirit for your guidance. What message do you have for Scorpio, Archangel Michael? Thank you for your guidance. What message do you have here for Scorpio? Let's get one card, please. Let's get, oh, there it is, one card. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So, wow, beautiful energy here. Self-respect, okay? I feel here this is a uh, message about you really loving you and going after your dreams and respecting yourself here, all right? So beautiful, beautiful. I feel here, it's, it's like you're in a place here where you've, you've gone through these past cycles um, that I feel didn't serve you, you've learned from them, you've closed out those cycles now, and now you're really um, manifesting what you want in your life here. So if you wanna say the prayer with me, it says, Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see myself as you see me through the eyes of love. Thank you for honoring and respecting me. Please guide me to do the same for myself and grant me the courage to speak up on my behalf. 
I ask for your protection in all my relationships so that I am surrounded by loving and kind people. All right, so beautiful, beautiful message there from Archangel Michael. I hope you gained some clarity here, Scorpio. Again, if you want to enter for the giveaway, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.